Hello and welcome to Azima Education. Here we will be discussing about static GK and its various contents. The topic which we will cover now is the basic information about India. As it is the most important topic in the static GK, this module will cover infographic based information linked with mnemonic and memory aids, covers all questions came out of the previous year, consists practice sets covering all the important questions relevant for your attention and practice. You can see the map of India along with its states and union territories. The capital of India is New Delhi. It belongs to the continent Asia. The location of India is 28 degrees 36.8 to north, 77 degrees 12.5 to east. The other names of India are Hindustan and Bharat. Neighboring countries are total seven, namely China, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Myanmar, and Bhutan. The population of India is about 1.2 billion. It is the second most populous country in the world. It has 17.5% of the world's population centered in. The area is about 3.2 million square kilometers. It is the seventh largest country in the world according to the area. Total coastline of India is 7,517 km. The length of coastline of Indian mainland is 6,100 km. The land frontier is 15,200 km. Length from east to west is 2,933 km. The length from north to south is 3,214 km. Official languages are Hindi and English. Currency it follows Indian rupee. The important rivers are Ganga, Brahmaputra, Indus, Godavari, Mahanadi, Kaveri, Luna, Yamuna, etc. Further, important mountains are Himalaya, Eastern Ghats, Western Ghats, Karakoram, Aravali, Satpura. There are total of 28 Indian states with 7 union territories and now there are total of 8 capital union territories. Main agricultural products are rice, wheat, sugarcane, tea, coffee, jute, cotton, spices. Major cities of India are Mumbai, Kolkata, New Delhi, Bangalore, China, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, Surat and various others. The major sea of India are May of Bengal, Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean. The animals of India are tiger, elephant, lion, bear, deer, nilgai, Indian flying fox, etc. Tourist places are Taj Mahal, Kutub Minar, Hava Mahal, Jama Masjid, Konak Sen Temple, India Gate, Sundarbans, Akshardham, Golconda, etc. Festivals of India are Diwali, Holi, Rath Yatra, Kumbh Mela, Janmashtami, Mohoram, Eid ul Fitr, Good Friday, Christmas. Now moving on, the national things and symbol of India. The national emblem of India is Lion Capital of Ashok at Sarnath. The national flag is tricolor. National anthem is Jan Ganaman. National song is Vande Matram. National animal is tiger. The national flower is lotus. National fruit is mango. National bird is peacock. The motto is Satyameva Jayate. The national tree of India is banyan tree. Now moving on to the religions of India. Hinduism has the place of worship as temple. Religious books are Gita and Vedas. Islam has place of worship as mosque. The religious books are Quran. Christianity has the place of worship as church. The religious books are Bible. Buddhism has place of worship as temple. The religious books are Tripitka. Jainism has place of worship as temple. The books are Kalpa Sutra, Agama, Tatvartha. The Sikhism has the place of worship as Gurdwara. The religious books are Guru Granth Sahib. Now the highest and lowest literacy rate according to the religion. Jains has the highest female literacy rate that is about 90.6%. The lowest female literacy rate are in the Muslims. The lowest literacy rate religion is the Muslim. The highest literacy rate religion is the Jains. Now there are some other important points about India. Rajasthan is the largest state in India in terms of area. It covers an area of about 342,000 square kilometers. It represents the 10.4% of the whole India. Goa with an area of 3,702 square kilometers is the smallest state in India. It was a Portuguese colony and was liberated from Portuguese rule on December 19, 1961. Uttar Pradesh is the most populous state in India. Sikkim is the least populous and second smallest among the Indian states. The most populous union territory is Delhi. The least populous is Lakshadweep. 
among the Indian states, Gujarat has the largest coastline of approximately 1600 km, 24% of the Indian sea coast. Madhya Pradesh has the largest forest cover of 77,414 square km in the country. Also, some facts about SC and STs. The scheduled caste and scheduled tribes are officially designated groups of historically disadvantaged people in India. For much of the period of British rule in the Indian subcontinent, they were known as the depressed classes. The scheduled caste and scheduled tribe are various officially designated group of historically disadvantaged people in India. They were depressed classes known as Dalit or Adivasis in various Indian states. The scheduled caste and scheduled tribe comprise of about 16.6% and 8.6% respectively of India's population according to the 2011 census. The STs and STs are largely centered in UP and MP, the least in Mizoram and Goa. The largest union territory is Jammu and Kashmir. The smallest union territory is Lakshwadeep. The largest state is Rajasthan and the smallest state is Goa. Note that the second largest union territory is Ladakh. Some basic information about national flag. The national flag of India is a horizontal rectangular tricolor with colors saffron, white and India green. With the Ashok Chakra, a 24-spoke wheel in navy blue at its center, it was adopted on 22nd July 1947. The proportion is the Indian flag has a ratio of 2 by 3 where the length of the flag is 1.5 times than of the width. Designed by Pingali Venkaya. Some facts about national anthem. The song Jan Ganman is the national anthem of India, which was composed by the Ravindranath Tagore in 1911, originally in Bengali. It was adopted by the Constituent Assembly on January 24, 1950, in its Hindi version. The song Jan Ganman was first published under the title Bharat Vidhata in Tatva Bodhini Patrika in January 1912. This song was translated in English in 1919 with the title Morning Song of India. Very first time it was sung as Calcutta session of Congress on December 27, 1911. It takes about 52 seconds for its total completion, while it takes 20 seconds for the first and last lines of the stanza. The meaning of the Janaganuman Adhinayaka is that King George V is the Lord of the Masses and Bharat Bhagyavidhata is the conveyor of good fortune of whole country. To honor the visit of King George, Pandit Motilal Nehru had the five stanzas included, which are in the praise of the King and queen and most of us think it is the phrase of our great motherland some facts about national song mr bunkin chandra wrote the song vande matrav on 7th november 1875 this song had been published in the novel anandamat by bunkin chandra the vocabulary used in the song is influenced by sanskrit anandamat conveys the information about the violent revolt of sannyasis against injustice inflicted by muslims and the british in bengal in 1772 it was adopted as national song on January 24, 1950, providing its equal status with national anthem. For the first time, it was sung at the Congress session of Calcutta in 1896. Here comes the real exam questions and the practice set. Like the first question is, the national flag of India was designed by whom? Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Rabindranath Tagore, Pingali Venkaya. You can just pause the video from here and seek the answers in the next further pages. In this way, you can evaluate yourself too in a best way without making any chaos. So, I hope you like this video and it helped you throughout. If you have any query or feedback, just comment us and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and share it with your friends too.